Stevenson wins their sixth straight tonight, 94-79 over Cabrini. Glenn Clark with Coach Gary Stewart. Coach, we've done enough of these that I know that no matter how I try to make a positive out of this, you're going to tell me about the negative. It was a 22-point game in the first half. It was a one-point game at one point in the second half. Um, can you explain the fact that we've done this a few times this season where we've had the same conversation? And is there value in the fact that you go through something like this and yet they end up pulling it out anyway? Well, if there is, I think we've learned that lesson so we can move on to something <laughs> else because we've, uh, we've done it multiple times. And uh, for some reason, we can't stand prosperity. You know, we, we stopped doing what got us to that point. And, and credit Cabrini, they got aggressive. Uh, uh, they changed uh, defensively some of the things that they were doing. And, and uh, we got a little bit tentative. But uh, we seem to, uh, our edification comes on the offensive end. And we're trying to change that and, and stay with the defense. Um, tonight, uh, we wanted to get out to uh, uh, both Smith brothers and, and run them off the three-point line. So now our spacing wasn't good. And they just on-balled and, and got into the interior. And, and so we've got to get that corrected. Coach, in that first half when you built up that big lead, you know, you talked a couple weeks ago when Evan missed a couple games. You said, we need him. He's going to be a big part of this. And I thought we saw, you know, a, a lot of that tonight and what it is that he has to offer and how important he can be as a guy that's able to knock down those shots if they leave him alone. Yeah, he's a, he's really kind of a, a, a glue guy for us. And, and we've got a couple of those. Uh, Johnny Rhodes uh, is, a, is another guy that, um, you know, when it, when it gets a little uh, – a rocky and you got to hold on to the handrail you get those two guys in the game because they have a calming influence and and uh, they think clearly through all the debris and all the adversity um so um evan um again uh, you're just seeing a little bit of what he's capable of doing as he gets his legs from soccer into basketball talked about handling prosperity you know you guys have been through some tough seasons the guys have come and gone is there Something to be said for this is still a team that needs to learn how to win, that, you know, gone through this six-game win streak and things have been good, but they still need to learn how to handle these types of things, and it's something that needs to come as you get back into conference play. Exactly right, Glenn. We're getting some uh, really good film on things that we need to do better and correct, and um, whether it be situational basketball or – are, are things that uh, collectively we need to do both offensively and defensively. Uh, that bodes well if we can um, heed the lessons that uh, we're supposed to get from, from these type of games. It's better to do those things when you've won six in a row, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess it's way better to go through learning those lessons on a six-game win streak than it would be uh, the alternative. I keep thinking we can play significantly better. You know, And um, you see it at times where we really share the ball, we come in, uh, as one of the best assist uh, uh, teams in the country. And then we get away from that, and, and the ball sticks a little bit. And so um, hopefully it's just an evolution that uh, um, here that's going to um, take hold, and we're going to play like that for long periods of time. But um, it's frustrating going through it, uh, but if you have to go through it, you want to win these. No doubt. We're back at the conference play on Saturday against Albright. Coach, congratulations on the win, and we'll see you on Saturday. Thank you, Glenn. He's Coach Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.